friends good afternoon to you all once again welcome back to engineer sorry advanced mathematics 2 friends i hope in the last uh, three sessions uh, we have discussed uh, so many points about vector uh, algebra right so i want to recall all those uh, points uh, very briefly is it clear right so for example i think we have discussed about uh, vectors so what do you mean by a vectors how do we represent factors mathematically is it clear right so as i have mentioned factors means a quantity having both magnitude and direction such a type of quantities we call it as an factors i think after that we have discussed about types of factors is it clear right so various factors can be represented with different notations as well as we can define a uh, zero vector or sometimes we may say that a null vector as clear right or uh, negative of a vector etc etc as clear or modulus of a vector we have defined uh, various types of vectors as clear and after that i think we have discussed about addition of two vectors suppose if we have a two vectors say for example a vector can be represented by using a small letter a with uh, bar means arrow mark as clear or sometimes we will use uh, capital letters a b c d etc as clear so they have given uh, two vectors uh, namely a and b how do we add uh, those two vectors uh, as clear and how do we subtract uh, two vectors uh, we have discussed uh, all these uh, points as clear so along with uh, that uh, we have also discussed uh, multiplication of a vector by a scalar suppose uh, a is uh, any vector right then if i want to multiply by a scalar say k is it clear what is k into a a is a vector is it clear right so we have studied that one also and after that i think i have defined components of a vector in two dimensions is it clear say for example a vector can be represented by capital letter a is it clear that is that can be written as a 1 into i plus a2 into z as clear and similarly i think we have uh, studied components of a vector in three dimensions also as clear say for example a is equal to a1i plus a2j plus a3k as clear and after that i think we have discussed about product of two vectors that is a scalar vector or what we call it as an dot product of two vectors as clear i have defined a and b are any two vectors how do we define a dot b is it clear right i think so far we have discussed all these points now i want to continue in the same way and after that i think we have discussed angle between two vectors also is it clear so now i want to solve one example about product of two vectors right so for example example may be like this find the scalar product of the vectors a is equal to 2i minus 2z plus k as clear and similarly b is equal to 2i minus 3z plus 6k right so now i want to obtain a dot b right so a dot b can be written as a, i will write the given vector as it is 2i minus 2z plus k dot 2i minus 3z plus 6k right so i want to obtain a dot b how do you obtain it it is very simple you can multiply so 2i into all the terms as clear similarly minus times of 2z into all the terms k into all the terms right and after that you want to write i dot i z dot z k dot k i dot z z dot k k dot k sorry it should be an uh, k right so then except i dot i z dot z k dot k other vectors becomes zero is it clear right so for that reason what i have written here 2 into 2 right minus 2 into minus 3 plus so coefficient of k is 1 and coefficient of k is 6 1 into 6 is it clear so 2 into 2 is 4 right so minus 2 into minus 3 is 6 1 into 6 is 6 6 plus 4 10 plus 6 is equal to 16 it means a dot b is equal to a scalar a quantity namely 16 is it clear suppose sometimes they may ask you to calculate modulus of a 
how do you calculate modulus of a? a a is the vector given vector 2i minus 2j plus k modulus of a is equal to square root of a coefficient of i square coefficient of j square coefficient of a k square is it clear so coefficient of i is 2 2 square 2 square is 4 and coefficient of j is again it is minus 2 minus 2 whole square is again 4 coefficient of k is 1 1 square right so square root of 4 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to square root of 9 that can be written as a 3 right in the similar way now i want to calculate what is the value of a modulus of b b is the given vector 2i minus 3j plus 6k right again as usual square root of 2 square because coefficient of i is 2 coefficient of j is minus 3 minus 3 square and coefficient of k is 6 right 2 square minus 3 square 6 square right 2 square is 4 minus 3 square is 9 6 square is 36 is equal to square root of 49 that means 7 right so similarly you can calculate value of cos theta as clear cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by modulus of a modulus of b that is equal to so a dot b is 16 we have calculated right divided by modulus of a is 3 and modulus of b is 7 after simplification you will get 16 by 21 is it clear or sometimes they may ask you find the value of lambda for which the vectors a is equal to 3i plus lambda j plus k and b is equal to 2i minus j minus 8k or perpendicular to each other it means that they have given two vectors right so now they are saying that perpendicular to each other say for example one vector is like this another vector is like this say for example uh, in coordinate system you can take x and y axis or perpendicular to each other as clear so like that we want to prove the given two vectors are perpendicular to each other and you want to note that they have given a vector a in that vector they have given an unknown value so what is the unknown value lambda is the unknown value so now you want to calculate what is the value of lambda so question is how do we calculate the value of lambda it is very simple right so you write down the given vectors as it is as i have written here a is equal to 3i plus lambda j plus k right and similarly i will write down the given vector b as it is 2i minus j minus 8k as it clear and in the hypothesis they have given that are perpendicular to each other it means that a dot b is equal to 0 it means that we know that two vectors are perpendicular if a dot b is equal to 0 as a clear right that is i will write the vector a and vector b is equal to 0 right vector a dot vector b is equal to 0 then a dot b how do we calculate a dot b just now we have observed the calculation of a dot b using the same procedure i hope you can calculate coefficient of i is 3 right so coefficient of j sorry i is 2 3 into 2 right similarly lambda into minus 1 plus coefficient of k is 1 coefficient of k is in another vector minus 8 that is why you can write in 1 into minus 8 is equal to 0 i hope you can simplify so 3 into 2 is 6 lambda into minus 1 is minus lambda right minus 1 into 8 is minus 8 is equal to 0 right simplify i hope you will get so lambda is equal to minus 2 so like that you can calculate the value of unknown is it clear right or sometimes they may ask example in this type find the angle between two vectors a and b with a magnitude 1 and 2 respectively it means that they have given instead of giving components they have given the magnitude of one vector namely a what is the magnitude of a 1 what is the magnitude of b 2 as it clear and they have given a dot b is also equal to 1 right so we want to calculate angle between two vectors right so you know that angle between two vectors formula as it clear and theta is equal to cos inverse of a dot b divided by modulus of a into modulus of b is the formula as it clear you can write down the formula then they have given some values you can substitute values in the formula so what they have given they have given a dot b is equal to 1 modulus of a is equal to 1 modulus of b is equal to 1 
is it clear? So, a is a dot b is known, I have replaced by 1, modulus of a is known, a is 1 and modulus of b is 1, is it clear? And after simplification, I hope you will get cos inverse of 1 by 2, right? Or sometimes they may ask find the angle theta between the vectors a and b, is it clear? Right? How do we calculate the value of theta? So, what is the given vector a is equal to i plus j minus k and similarly b is equal to i minus j plus k. Right? And again formula is cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by modulus of a into modulus of b. Right? So, now you know the procedure how do you calculate a dot b? You can write down the given vector a as it is dot b as it is i plus j minus k i minus j plus k. Is it clear? What is the coefficient of i? Coefficient of i is 1, right? And coefficient of i in another vector is also 1, right? And similarly, the coefficient of j is 1, what I have written here, right? And coefficient of j is minus 1, is it clear? Plus coefficient of k is minus 1, coefficient of k in another vector is 1, is it clear? So, 1 into 1 is 1, right? 1 into minus 1 is minus 1, minus 1 into 1 is 1 and for simplification I hope you will get equal to minus 1. And similarly, you can calculate modulus of a, a means what? Here a is a factor, right? Coefficient of i is 1, j is 1, k is minus 1, as it clear? Square root of 1 square plus 1 square minus 1 square, after simplification you will get square root of minus 3. And similarly, you can calculate modulus of b, what is the given vector b i minus j plus k, coefficient of i is 1, j is minus 1, k is 1, 1 square minus 1 square, 1 square. Again after simplification, you will get square root of 3, is it clear? a dot b is 1, right? Modulus of a is root 3, modulus of b is root 3, root 3 into root 3 is 3, I hope you will get 1 by 3. Therefore, angle is or required angle is theta is equal to cos inverse of 1 upon 3, right? I hope now you are able to solve variety of examples. If they ask you to find out perpendicular to each other, right? If they ask you to find the angle between two vectors, I hope now you are able to find out angle between two vectors. Suppose if they give an unknown value in the vector, how do we find out an unknown value in the vector? I hope you are able to calculate, is it clear? And sometimes uh, the given example is of uh, this type, is it clear? Here uh, they have given that A is equal to 5 i minus j minus 3 k and B is equal to i plus 3 j minus 5 k. Then show that the factors A plus B and A minus B are perpendicular, is it clear? Instead of asking one vector is perpendicular to another vector. Here they have given two vectors. Now we want to add those two vectors. I hope you are able to calculate a plus b. Is it clear? In the similar way, now you want to obtain difference of those two vectors, namely a minus b. Is it clear? After calculating a plus b and a minus b, you want to prove that both of the vectors are perpendicular. Is it clear? Right? So, I hope uh, you know the addition of uh, two vectors. Right? So, you can write down the given vector a as it is plus b as it is. Is it clear? Now, you can add uh, these two vectors. How do you add? 5 i plus i. 5 i plus i means uh, 6 i minus j plus 3 j. Is it clear? Right? I hope you will get uh, plus 2 j minus 3 k plus of minus 5 k. I hope you will get uh, minus 8 k. Right? So, like that you can add a plus b. Right? So, in the similar way you can add a minus b means the difference of two vectors phi u i minus i. I hope you will get 4 i minus j plus 3 j. Right? I hope you will get minus 4 j. It means minus of plus 3 j. Right? 4 minus times of 4 j. Minus 3 k. Right? Minus of minus 5 k means I hope you will get plus 2 k. 
Is it clear? It means uh, you can add addition of two hectares, a difference of uh, two hectares. Uh, okay. Now we are able to obtain uh, uh, a plus b, a minus b. So now we want to prove that uh, these two hectares are perpendicular to each other. It means that uh, you can take it as an another factor, say c, and this factor as a uh, d. Now we want to prove that uh, c dot d is equal to zero. Is it clear? Or as usual, you can write on a plus b. Dot a minus b is equal to I have written the factor a plus b dot a minus a b and you can simplify. So i dot i six into four twenty four. Is it clear? So two into minus four minus eight minus eight right plus two is equal to sixteen right. Simplify. So sixteen plus eight twenty four plus twenty four minus twenty four is equal to zero. It means that uh, a plus b and a minus b are Perpendicular to each other, right? I hope so. Now you are able to calculate uh, all these uh, examples, uh, right? So sometimes they may ask you to calculate uh, projection of the factor. What is the projection of the factor on another factor? Is it clear? It means that uh, here they have given a factor a 2i plus 3z plus 2k on the factor v is equal to i plus 2z plus k. Is it clear? Right. So the projection of vector a on vector b is given by you know the formula. So one divided by modulus of b a dot b. I hope you can calculate a dot b. Is it clear? Two into one plus three into two plus two into one. Is it clear? Right. So how do we calculate coefficient of i? Coefficient of i two into one. Is it clear? Coefficient of j? Coefficient of j three into two plus coefficient of k k two into one whole divided by So modulus of b, modulus of b means coefficient of i square, coefficient of j square, coefficient of k square. Is it clear? Simplify. So two plus six plus two. After simplification, you will get ten. Right? Divide by square root of six. Two square is four. Five plus one six. Is it clear? Right? So like that, you can calculate projection of a vector a on a b. Is it clear? And sometimes uh, they may ask you to calculate uh, modulus of uh, difference of two factors if uh, a and b are given. Is it clear? Or a is equal to modulus of a is equal to two, and modulus of b is equal to three, and a dot b is equal to a uh, four. Instead of giving the components, uh, sometimes uh, they may give uh, values uh, like this. Is it clear? And you know that uh, modulus of factor a minus factor b whole square can be written as a uh, A minus b dot a minus b. Is it clear? Right? And you can multiply. So a dot a, right? So minus times of a dot b, right? And similarly minus times of b dot a and plus b dot b. A dot a means it can be written as modulus of a whole square, and it can be written as two times of a dot b, right? So can you tell me how do you write a dot b? And uh, minus b, uh, b dot a can be written as uh, two times of a dot b because uh, uh, in the last session we have discussed about uh, properties of uh, dot product. Is it clear? And the dot product is uh, a commi uh, commutative law. Is it clear? Right? A dot b is equal to b dot a. By using that property, you can write down two times of a dot b plus b dot b means uh, modulus of b whole square. Is it clear? And you know the value they have given in the hypothesis. Modulus of a whole square substitute. What is the modulus of a? Two. They have given two square. As it is, I have written two as it is. They have given a dot b also. A dot b is four. I have replaced it by four plus b. They have given three square. Sorry, b. Uh, modulus of b is three whole square. Right? Two square is four. Four into two is eight. Three square is nine. Simplify. I hope you we'll get a five. As it is, so therefore modulus of a minus b is square root of five. Right, and sometimes they may ask you to calculate uh, some other parts of the uh, discussion. Some other parts of the discussion means uh, so we have already discussed about uh, unit vector, right? So and uh, x minus a dot x minus a is equal to a. Then find the modulus of uh, x since uh, a unit vector modulus of a is equal to one. Also x minus a x minus a, a means uh, is a vector is equal to a. Is it clear? Or as usual, just now we have multiplied, no? So like that, here also you can multiply these two vectors. I hope you get all these things is equal to eight, and or it can be written as x 
dot x means modulus of x square and again you can use the commutative property right and this two becomes a 0 a dot a is a modulus of a whole square right and it is given that is equal to 8. So, uh, modulus of a is 1 x square minus 1 is equal to 8 or x square is equal to you can take minus 1 to other side I hope you will get a 9 or modulus of x is equal to 3 as the magnitude of a factor is non-negative is it clear right. Sometimes uh, uh, they may give points as it clear show that the points are collinear here points means what so a is one vector b is another vector c is also a vector as it clear so it means that uh, so they may give three factors uh, or in this example they have given three factors uh, and now they have asked us to prove that uh, collinear as it clear how do we show that uh, three points are uh, collinear as it clear and I hope you have to calculate uh, a dot b sorry a b so a b means a is one vector b is another vector as a clear right now how we will calculate the distance between two points so like that you can calculate so 1 plus 2 x 2 minus x 1 coefficient of i is 1 and coefficient of i in a is 2 as a clear right so similarly plus the coefficient of z x 2 minus x 1 y 2 minus y 1 as clear. So, 2 minus 3 into z right z 2 minus z 1 3 minus 5 is equal to k after simplification you will get 3 i minus z minus 2 k is clear and similarly factor b is known i plus 2 z plus 3 k and factor c is 7 i minus k in the similar you can obtain b c again you can use the same formula x 2 minus x 1 y 2 minus y 1 z 2 minus z 1 after simplification I hope you will get 6 i minus 2 z plus 3 k as a clear and a is known c is known I hope you can calculate a c 7 plus 2 i right and similarly after simplification 9 i minus 3 z minus 6 k is a clear right. So, like that you can calculate a b b c a c and you can calculate modulus of a b also right how do you denote modulus of a b is equal to square root of 14 how do you get square root of 14 it is very simple so a b is known 3 i it means coefficient of i is 3 square root of 3 square square root of 3 square plus minus 1 square plus minus 2 square simplify you will get square root of 14 is clear and similarly b c b c vector b c is known right you can simplify you will get 2 times of square root of 14 and a c is known again by using the same formula simplify you will get 3 times of square root of 14 or it can be done as therefore modulus of a c is equal to modulus of a b plus modulus of b c on the basis of this statement you can say that a b c are collinear is clear right. So, I hope friends now you are able to solve a variety of examples on a dot product right and I want to give one more law right namely a distributive law. What is the distributive law? Suppose a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c right. So, now you can use it as a law. Right, or you can use it as a distributive law. Before uh, using uh, this law, now we want to prove that uh, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Is it clear? Right. So you can take left hand side, or you can consider left hand side. Uh, then you can obtain uh, other side uh, value. Is it clear? Right. Select so, like, OB is equal to B. You can draw this diagram. OB is equal to you may call it as a vector B, and BC is equal to vector C, and this is the vector A. Is it clear? And you can consider left hand side is equal to a dot b plus c, right? Then you can write down modulus of a, right, into projection of b plus c on a, right? So you can observe this diagram b plus c. This is the diagram. Oh sorry, this is the vector b plus c. So what is the projection of b c? Projection of b c is l n, right, on a. Is it clear? So, what we have written here modulus of a into l n right or it can be written as a simplify modulus of a into 
ln means what? ln can be written as a l m plus m n. That's clear. That's why you can write it as a a into modulus of a into l m, right? Plus modulus of a into m n. That's clear, right? Then you may ask, what is l m and what is m n? That's clear. So l m means a projection of b on a. That's clear. So projection of b on this vector. right and similarly what is mn projection of bc or projection of c on a is it clear so what i have written here projection of b on a projection of c on a right then you may ask a dot projection of b on a means what a dot b is it clear and similarly a dot c and that is the right hand side terms is it clear like that you can prove a distributive law is it clear so i hope friends you can work out all these examples how we have solved uh, in the uh, uh, previous right previously is it clear so find the scalar product of the following pairs of factors they have given pairs of factors i hope you can calculate a dot b you can write down a is equal to this vector b is equal to another vector calculate a dot b in all these cases is it clear and similarly show that the following pair of vectors are perpendicular to each other right now as usual you can take a is equal to one vector b is equal to another vector calculate a dot b and you must get equal to zero in all these cases you can verify later right and as i have mentioned sometimes they may ask you to calculate an unknown value say lambda is it clear right so all these vector containing an unknown value Is it clear? We want to calculate uh, the value of uh, lambda in all these uh, cases, right? You can take these examples as an assignment. Is it clear? And sometimes uh, they may ask you to calculate uh, cosine of the angle between the following pairs of factors, uh, right? So here they have given two factors, uh, and uh, you know the formula: cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by modulus of a into modulus of b. So you can use that formula, right? Then you can substitute. Uh, the value right i hope you will get uh, the value of uh, cos theta is it clear right now so far uh, we have discussed about uh, product of uh, two vectors or a dot product is it clear now i want to extend the same thing for the triple product is it clear so before uh, defining a triple product i wanted to give some more information regarding a right handed regular system is it clear right so what do you mean by right handed uh, rectangular system as it clear right i hope friends uh, when we talk about right handed rectangular system uh, you can concentrate on corner of uh, any room as it clear or you can consider x o x y o y so z dash o z as it clear right or the three lines which are mutually right angles at uh, right it means x axis y axis and z axis you can extend both this side i hope you'll get these lines at right angles at o right the positive direction of positive direction of ox oy oz is it clear it means you can define like this right so you can take x axis y axis and z axis you can extend the same to the other side is it clear so this is the point o O Z O Z dash is it clear? Right. If you consider this as a uh, x axis, right? So O X other side is a O X dash. Like that, you can define three lines when you place the screw along the Z axis. Is it clear? Right. The screw would move in the direction of O Z. Right. Such a system of a coordinate axis is called. A the right handed rectangular system of axis is clear then you may ask how do we rotate the screw right so just now i have mentioned so this axis o x x dash line and another line is o y y dash o z z dash three mutually perpendicular to each other right then you can place the screw along the z axis then you can rotate like this right in this direction or like this the screw will move towards the z axis 
is clear right so such a system is called right handed system of vectors then you may ask what do you mean by right handed system of vectors right so we can define the same thing in other way is clear how do we define so here a is one vector b c are other vectors which are non coplanar non coplanar means what are not in the same plane is clear are said to form right handed system if the screw rotated through an angle less than 180 degree from a to b right will advance in the direction c right as shown in the diagram as shown in the diagram means say for example you can uh, rotate this is the z axis right you can rotate a screw like this in this direction is clear right anti clockwise direction screw will move along the z axis is clear right then mathematically how do you represent this concept is clear right so this thumb can be represented by a cross b right i hope you can observe in the figure right so this is one vector namely a and another vector b and uh, this is z axis uh, right so you may call it as an a cross b when you rotate a screw like this as it clear right so mathematically you can represent it by a cross b is it clear uh, now you assume that uh, they have given two vectors just now i have mentioned no a cross b right screw can be denoted by a cross b what is a cross b right or what is uh, right hand side of a cross b you may ask as a clear right simply you can say that a multiplication of two vectors right so multiplication of two vectors means a is one vector b is another vector it means that they have given two vectors or we have two vectors now we want to multiply these two vectors and how do we denote multiplication of two vectors just now i have mentioned no, no you can denote by using this symbol a cross b as it clear and how do we read it as it clear you can read it a cross product right i want to repeat once again a is b is or the given two vectors if you multiply these two vectors you can denote it by a cross b and you can read it as a cross product okay they have given two vectors you can denote like this a is one vector b is another vector as it is suppose if i want to measure angle between these two vectors as it is so what is the angle between these two vector so for example theta is the angle between these two vector as it is right then uh, you can obtain an a particular area right between the uh, given two vectors as it is it means suppose if you want to calculate magnitude so what is the magnitude of a cross b right so area of the parallelogram i hope you can observe this diagram area of the parallelogram generated by two vectors namely a and b as it is it means you can obtain the magnitude of a cross b so a is one vector b is another vector angle between two vectors is denoted by theta right then magnitude is area of the parallelogram as it is so height is denoted by h that is equal to b into sin theta as it is so magnitude is ah is equal to ab into sin theta right so okay what is the direction of a cross b magnitude is known you may think about so what is the direction of a and b right so you can say that direction is perpendicular to both a and b is clear perpendicular to both a and b means what right so this is the direction of a cross b is clear right which is perpendicular to a as well as perpendicular to b is clear perpendicular to a means what this is the perpendicular to a and perpendicular to b means right this vector then you may ask so we need a particular rule for uh, this 
Is it clear? Right? Now, as usual, we know that A is one vector, B is another vector. You can measure or you know the angle between uh, two vectors. It is denoted by theta. Height is also known and direction perpendicular to A and perpendicular to B. Is it clear? Right? Suppose, uh, if you want to know the what is the direction in this case. Is it clear? So, for that reason, uh, we need a rule. Is it clear? Right? So, how do we denote a rule? Just now, we have defined A cross B. No? Is it clear? So, that rule you may call it as an, a right hand rule. Is it clear? Right? You may call it as an, a right hand rule. A is one vector, B is another vector, A cross B is denoted by, right? So, like this means uh, screw will move along with the z axis, right? That is why you may call it as a right hand system. Suppose, if it is in the opposite direction, if you move the screw in this direction, right? I hope you will get B cross A. So, A is one vector, B is another vector, right? If you multiply these two, I hope you will get B cross A. Then here you may ask one question, whether cross product is it commutative or not? Is it clear? Right? So, I hope the order of vector multiplication is also important, right. So, as I have mentioned, whether the cross product is commutative or not. So, in this case, cross product is not commutative, is it clear, right. So, as usual, so they have given A and B two vectors, right. Then, you may ask, what is the geometrical interpretation of A cross B, is it clear. Right. So, geometrical inter interpretation of A cross B is, say for example, A is one vector, B is another vector. Right. So, this is the area obtained between A and B and you know the angle between A and B is denoted by theta. Is it clear? Right. Height is B into sin theta. I hope you can calculate modulus is A B sin theta. Right. Suppose, if I want to calculate, it, calculate this marked area. Is it clear? is denoted by A cross B, right. So, A what it means? So, area of the parallelogram formed between A and B. Is it clear? That is the uh, geometrical interpretation of uh, A cross B, right. I hope you are able to define A cross B and you are able to calculate modulus of A cross B. Similarly, you are able to calculate uh, geometrically what it uh, represents. Is it clear? Right. So, as I have mentioned, factor multiplication is not commutative. As clear, it means A cross B is not equal to B cross A. Right. And similarly, you can say that factor multiplication is a distributive. Just now we have observed a distributive law in case of a dot product. As clear. Right. In the similar way, you can define a distributive law in case of a cross product also. Right. Suppose, if it is A cross B plus C, you can write down A cross B plus A cross C. Is it clear? And similarly, you can multiply by a scalar. Right. So, A cross B is a vector, then you can multiply by a, here M is the scalar. Right. So, how we will get a M A right cross B or you can write down A cross M into B. Right. Or A cross B is equal to M. Is it clear? So, sometimes you may get equal to 0. Equal to 0 means A cross B is equal to 0, right? What it means, right? A and B are not null vectors. Then you can say that A is parallel to B. Is it clear? Right? Or modulus of A cross B is equal to AB sin theta. AB sin theta is equal to 0 means theta is equal to 0. Is it clear? Right? And sometimes uh, you want to define components of a vector. How we have defined components uh, in two dimensions uh, as well as uh, three dimensions. In cross product also, we want to define a components. Right? Say for example, these are the unit vectors along with the x, y and uh, z axis. Right? i, z, k. Is it clear? So, now I want to calculate uh, i cross i. Is it clear? Right. So, what is the angle between i cross i? Angle between i cross i is 0. Is it clear? Right. And similarly, I want to calculate 
j cross j. What is the angle between j cross j is again a 0. Is it clear? What is the k cross k? Angle is 0. Is it clear? And you know the formula. In the formula, if you replace theta by 0, I hope you will get equal to 0. It means that i dot i j dot sorry i cross i j cross j k cross k is equal to 0. Is it clear? Right? Or you want to define what is the value of i cross j. Is it clear? i is a factor, j is a factor. You want to calculate i cross j. I hope angle between i and j is 90 degree because these three lines are mutually perpendicular to each other. Is it clear? Angle between these two lines is 90 degree. Right? So, i cross j is you will get k and similarly you can calculate j cross k. Again angle between these two lines is 90 degree. I hope you will get is equal to i and similarly k cross i is equal to j right and sometimes uh, you have to calculate the value of i cross k also is it clear i cross k means in the opposite direction right the value of i cross k is minus times of j right or sometimes you may calculate k cross j you will get a minus i and j cross i, I hope you will get a minus k, right. So, these values uh, you must be remember. While solving example, we will use uh, these values. Just now I have mentioned uh, i cross i is equal to j cross j is equal to k cross k becomes uh, 0. Why? Because uh, angle between uh, i cross i, j cross j, k cross k is uh, 0 degree. Is it clear, right? And similarly, i cross j, just now I have mentioned i cross j is k, right? You can go in this direction. Similarly, j cross k is i, right? k cross i is j, right? Why? Because angle between i and j is 90 degree or j and k is also 90 degree. k cross i is also a 90 degree, right? And in the similar way, j cross i is it clear right is equal to minus k k cross j is equal to minus i i cross k is equal to minus j is it clear if you are able to remember these values then only you are able to follow examples about cross product is it clear so now i want to define a components in case of a cross b is it clear how we have defined components in the previous class in the similar way you can define components for a and b right so a is one factor a1i plus a2j plus a3k and similarly so b is another factor how do you denote b1i b2j plus b3k now i want to obtain a cross b as clear so a cross b means you know the values of our components of a similarly the components of b now i want to write a cross symbol as clear right so how do you multiply i want to multiply first component a1i into all the components of another vector say b is it clear plus similarly second component into all the components of b plus third component of the first vector cross all the components of vector b so like that you can multiply is it clear so what i have written here that is equal to a1i all the components of b b1 i plus b2 j plus b3 k right plus a2 j into all the components of b right similarly a3 k b1 i b2 j plus b3 k then you may ask what is the next step is it clear so next step is very simple you can multiply a1 b1 i cross i is it clear right then you know the value of i cross i i cross i is equal to 0. So, because uh, what is the angle uh, between i cross i? Angle between i cross i is 0. When you replace theta by 0, I hope you will get equal to a 0. Similarly, i sorry a1 into b2 plus sorry a1 into b2 into i cross j. Right? Similarly, 
a1 i into b3 k it means you will get i cross k similarly a2 j into all these terms a2 j into b1 i a2 j into hmm, b2 j plus a2 j into b3 k is it clear right so a3 k b1 i plus a3 k b2 j right plus a3 k b3 k it means that uh, here you want to know the values of uh, i cross i i cross j i cross k similarly j cross i j cross j j cross k similarly k cross i k cross j k cross k if you know these values uh, then only you can substitute just now i have mentioned is it clear from multiplication uh, you will get uh, all these uh, terms right just now i have mentioned no i cross i j cross j k cross k right so these terms can be replaced by zero because you know that the value of i cross i and the value of j cross j the value of k cross k is zero is it clear and similarly then you have to identify what is the value of j cross k is it clear and k cross j so j cross k can be replaced by i k cross j can be replaced by minus times of i and similarly what is the value of k cross i k cross i is minus j is it clear right so i cross k is so minus j plus is j is it clear and similarly i cross j is k is it clear right and j cross i can be replaced by minus k right so after replacing all those values uh, i hope uh, you will get uh, a2 b3 minus a3 b2 i plus a3 b1 minus a1 b3 j similarly plus a1 b2 minus a2 b1 k right by observing this equation you will come to know that uh, we are able to write down these terms in the form of uh, determinant is it clear right now how do you write down a, a determinant right i hope we can write down a, i first row is a, i j k second row is a, a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 if you expand this determinant i hope you'll get the previous step right or the previous step can be write down in this form is it clear or you assume that a is one vector b is another vector from the components of a and b you are able to write down a determinant of, of uh, this type so because uh, what is the vector a a1 i a2 j a3 k first uh, row you can write down i j k coefficient of uh, i is a1 coefficient of j is a2 coefficient of k is uh, a3 similarly the coefficient of uh, another vector say b or b1 b2 b3 you are able to write down in the form of a determinant then you may ask how do we expand this determinant is it clear right so it is very simple say for example i into you can denote i into you can leave the first column first row a2 b3 minus a3 b2 is it clear and similarly minus j into a3 b1 right minus a1 b2 plus k into you can ignore a last column and first row you can multiply a1 b2 and b1 a2 as clear right so like that after multiplication of uh, these two factors sorry a cross b so you will get an uh, value of a determinant as clear right one simple example is uh, you can consider a mutually perpendicular to each other oy ox oz and you can consider the vector Uh, p so mass into velocity the angular moment of a particle with respect to o is along with the z along the z axis right you may get uh, l as it clear so l can be written as a vector r into vector p as it clear so the position vector is r and this is a vector p i hope you will get uh, m into v right so another simple example is a uh, cross product as it clear you just now have explained uh, how do we multiply components of uh, two vectors 5i minus j plus 2k cross 2i plus 3j minus k right so you can write down in the form of uh, 
determinant as clear first row is i j k and second row is phi u coefficient of j is minus 1 plus k and similarly last row is 2 i plus sorry last row is 2 3 and minus 1 you can expand the determinant i hope you will get the value you try to find out the value of this example otherwise i will give the solution of this example in the next session thank you